Ain't nobody gonna rip off Stephen H. Green, I'll tell you that right now. Hello, welcome to Nikki in Real Life. Girl, where should I clip some pictures of my real actual life? Whoa, whoa, how cool, how exciting. By the way, this is not a pimple, this is a mosquito bite. I just got back from Mexico and uh, the mosquitoes love my face. There are pimples on my face that I'm breaking out with, but this is not one of them. This is just an extremely itchy mosquito bite that I'm trying desperately hard not to scratch. All I've been thinking about since I first started looking at houses is decorating. That's all I want to do. That's all I want to think about. That's all That's all I want. When I'm not decorating, I'm thinking about what I can do to decorate spaces in my place. In today's neural, I started to decorate our place, which was super exciting for me slash super nerve wracking because it was like virgin walls. Hello, good weekend. Um, so today I'm putting stuff on our walls for basically the first time. Have we put anything on the wall yet? Oh yeah, we put that mirror up. We put a mirror up in the living room. Uh, yeah, putting things on the walls is so much scarier when you own the place because I know what I had to do to paint this and I don't want to repaint it if I hate it. I've been like arranging how maybe we're like maybe we could do a gallery wall right here or would it look better over here what if we put something here or do we kind of like it blank? We don't know. So much commitment happens. Too much commitment. I already got this one that I committed to. That was something that I have to think about every night. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, so I think we're gonna put this like gallery of images. I'm gonna change out this one to be um, pictures of us, but I'm gonna, I think we're gonna put it there. And then I think we're gonna put this glorious poster of all the stand-up comedians we really like up there. And then these are gonna go upstairs closer to our bedroom. We did it! Looks so good! By the way, I put this picture in. This is my favorite wedding picture. Yep. Okay, so we just had a guy come in here and clean the vent of our dryer because it smelled bad and it took a really long time to dry clothes. It actually didn't dry our clothes. Turns out there was a bird's nest. A freaking bird's nest in it. No, there's little baby birds, little tiny baby birds. <laughs> there are no baby birds. Don't you worry about it's it. It's summertime. There Don't you worry about it. We took care of every single one of them. But I'd just like to point out, when we first moved in, our stove and our microwave weren't working. And Steve's go-to is just, it's broken. The stove is broken, the microwave is broken, no, it's it's birds. junk. I think they no, left. No, my go-to is not that, it's that we got scammed. Yeah, exactly. We got scammed, they left their junk here. I think I got scammed. <laughs> like, this doesn't add up. Both of these things are broken at the same time, and they left the warranty and everything for the microwave and the stove there. That's a common there. scam tactic. Uh-huh. Um. And so I'm like, let's test the plug. All of the outlets on that wall didn't work. So not just the microwave and the stove. One text message to an electrician with a picture of our outlets determined that it just needed to be reset. Excuse me, we tried to reset them so many times. He, he's like. But we didn't do that shit where you're supposed to use an object and push it. Yeah, yeah, he had to, you have to push it harder. He was pushing, pushing it like, like a little bitch. No, you were pushing like a bitch too, you know. So this, with the dryer, Steve's doing laundry all day. He's like, there's a smell and the clothes aren't drying. It's broken. The dryer's broken. He would have bought a new dryer and had the same exact problem. You're, you're goddamn right I would. One, I would do it every time. <laughs> and you know what? We haven't even tried the new dryer yet. Yeah. One Google search, I type in the symptoms. Oh, our vent is... Our vent is dirty. Two hundred dollars more, and we could have had a brand new dryer. So and yeah, and you would have had the same problem because you would have had a dirty vent. You stupid moron! You are fucking idiot! You're, you're a fucking you're a fucking, you're a fucking idiot! Nuts. You're the dumbest son I ever had. All I'm saying, moral of the story, he's lucky he has a wife. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, but you're lucky that you have a husband that is not going to get caught. Ain't nobody going to rip me off. He will go out of his like way that. to spend extra money. Ain't nobody thinking he got caught. Ain't nobody going to rip off Stephen H. Green. I'll tell you that right now. What's the H? They always, in the old movies, they always have H as the middle initial. And they it's always, always H? H? I don't know why. It's weird. Anyway, I win the intelligence game. Uh, We're in the Asian market right now, which I love so much more than the regular market. They have so much cool stuff here. The produce is just like all these exotic fruits. Look at this. This is jackfruit, mango steam, some sesame cookies. So good. So I'd gone to the Asian market to get 
these ingredients to make pho that I couldn't find at the regular store. But then I came home with all of this. This is a jackfruit. I ate this in Vietnam for the first time. I never bought it here because it looked too intimidating. There's two kinds of jackfruit. If you make a savory dish with jackfruit in it, you get um, the young jackfruit that hasn't developed yet and it's in a can. This jackfruit is the mature adult jackfruit and it's sweet. They come in these seed things. I don't know what you would call this, like a pod? I don't know, but they pop out and then you eat this part. I would have never known this if I didn't try it in Vietnam. These are taro twist bread thing. Mung bean black sesame mochi. Mung bean mochi. Taro flavor and mung bean. Try this. Tastes like cantaloupe. Cantaloupe? It tastes like candy. Very good. Yeah. Yeah, it's like sweet and it's good. Almost like a gummy bear. <laughs> yeah, kind of, yeah. It tastes really That's good. True. It's so, so candy-like. Mm. I love it. These are so weird. These are mangosteens. You break it open and there's these yummy little freaking white things in here. And these are the softest, sweetest, yummiest things I've ever tasted. Why can't we have this fruit growing here so it's not $5 a freaking fruit? It kinda tastes like if a pineapple and a banana had a baby and it was the consistency of a tangerine. It's so good. It tastes like a cocktail without the alcohol. Love me some East Asian fruit, I'll tell you what. And then came the furniture assembly. Patio furniture! Also what came in is this, well this doesn't have a picture of what it is on it, but it's a kitchen island. What do I put, what do I put together first? I think patio furniture because it's summer and I like to chillax. Wouldn't it be nice to chillax in your own back patio? You know what makes building patio furniture so much more enjoyable? Sweatpants and a glass of wine. We're doing it. I'll see you on the other side. Forgot to show you guys. This got built last night. And yeah, it took a little bit of time, but I had a glass of wine, so all was good in the world. By the way, this is very, very, this is a very rough version of what this will look like outside. I'm gonna do a lot more to this, don't worry. Today, we have a new project. Hey, copyrighted music, tune it out. Building well, a kitchen island now, I will be right back. So I was gonna do a time lapse about assembling this kitchen island, but then I Instagram storied it, and my friend Wendy saw it, and was like, hey, I'm bored, can I come over and help? And I was like, uh, yeah, get over here yesterday, please. And she helped me consume some wine, which while building a kitchen island, it, everything turned out upside down. And you know what? It was better that way. I recruited someone. Posted somebody with guns. That's right, Steve, you hear Are that? Are you kidding me, dude? <laughs> you hear that? Are you seriously kidding me, dude? Finally. I don't have any I was just kidding. Let me feel it. No, let me feel it. Come on, put you it up. pretend. Oh, shit. Whoa. Oh, shit. Yeah. All right, put it up. Put it up, kid. Oh yeah. Gates, gates, gates. And then we got some plants. Good morning. We're gonna go look at plants today. It's eight in the morning. And we're getting excited about plants. And I'm gonna need you to get way more pumped about it because it's exciting. Our last place was so dark that it didn't allow for living things. Except for this plant. This plant made it the whole time. Good for you, Tree. We couldn't buy living plants. They would die. But this place. Oh, I have plans for this place. I have plants for this place. <laughs> it's 8 in the morning. We're here! Look at all the plants! It's like Disneyland for an old person who likes plants. It's not like Disneyland at all! Also, I'm meeting a friend here. It's a plant date. There she is! <laughs> this is what we do in our 30s! There's so many! Look at our chicken! <laughs> we are genuinely this excited. We came up, sorry for being loud. We came up on plants today. We came up hard. This is only some of them. Some of them are in the trunk. Oh my gosh, I'm obsessed. I don't know if I know how to take care of them yet, but I'm gonna do research. Hopefully you guys are in good hands. I don't know yet. We just met, but I like them already. I'm like in love with them. I'm like clingy in love. I'm like first date clingy in love, sorry. Okay, now we're in Target. How did this become the best day ever? And it's only 9 a.m. I'm just gonna spend all our money, Steve. I'm so sorry. I just got back home and the power is out on the entire block. Anyway, while the power is out, I think it's time for a plant haul. What, what, Franklin? What, what? Franklin's so excited. I got this one is a lemon tree, which I'm pretty stoked on because anything that can go into my cocktails for free, I'm into. This is a money tree. I don't know the proper name for it. It's supposed to go indoors, but the bottom is all dirty, so. We're just gonna wait until it's the right time. This is a bad boy. 
That's another palm tree. I wanted one of these palm trees to go inside, but I don't know what type of planter to put it in that makes it okay to be inside. I have a lot to learn. I really didn't do any research. Excuse me, don't eat that. Excuse me. This orchid I already had. Hi, you're doing great. You got new friends, Mr. Tree. How you feeling? Tell them how great it is here. This beautiful guy was at the checkout counter and I was like, I have to have that. Look at it. It's so beautiful. I got this little succulent guy that I want to go on like a shelf or something, but I don't have a shelf yet. And, and then, and then, and then I got this guy, a spider plant. Also wasn't planning on getting this. I wanted to get like an ivy type of plant. I want one of those macrame hangers so I can look all Pinterest up in here, but basically over that window, I want this to hang there. These are the only two plants that I had originally gone in there for, and I wanted to get a fiddle fig tree, but they, did, they were all out of them. Uh, but yeah, look at it. Beautiful snake plant. Not this, this is a kitty litter. You wouldn't know if I didn't tell you, but it is. I wonder if it thinks it's a real plant that's trying to talk to it. What are you saying about me? Do you love me? Hi, do you love me? Please love me. Gotta get some planters for them. If you're in the valley and you wanna look for a wholesale nursery that has a really good selection of plants at really great prices, this is not sponsored by the way at all. Um, I think it's called Green Growers. Green, green Growers in North Hollywood. Wholesale. $200 for all of those plants. So there. Anyway, just want to let you know about my plants. Plant haul. What a great day. I did not know what type of plants I bought or how to care for them or what to do with them when you bring them home. I didn't I didn't know any of that. I was so ignorant. I thought I did so much research, but really I didn't. I just did a lot of Pinteresting and being like, ooh, what's that plant? Oh, uh, okay, I'll take one of those. Since then, I've done a lot of research and I've repotted some of them, which I'll get to in a later video. They look really good around the house. I know which ones need sunlight and which ones need more water and not water. And there's just a bunch of high maintenance bitches are in here. The snake plants I bought and the croton plant I bought, which was that really pretty, fiery looking plant. Those are both toxic to cats and to people. So if you have tiny humans running around, don't get those. They're not fatal or anything like that. They just aren't great for your cat. So I put them in planters and put them in a higher up place so my cats would not be interested in fighting them. But real quick before we end this neural, I just want to give a shout out to our sponsor, Squarespace. Squarespace.com. Thank you so much. Holla. Whether you need a domain, website, or online store, you can make it with Squarespace. I love Squarespace because they have beautiful designer templates that you don't have to design at all yourself. You just like take someone else's thing that they did for you and you just replace it with your own words and images. So whether you have a business or a wedding coming up, which I had one for my wedding, didn't know about that that back then, now I know. Now you know you can make an amazing looking wedding website with Squarespace. It's an all-in-one platform so there's nothing to install, upgrade, or patch ever. And if you have any problems, they have a 24-7 award-winning customer service department. So you can just call them up and be like, yo, what is happening? And they'll help you out. Make it, have it, do it, love it. Go over to squarespace.com for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, you can go to squarespace.com slash Nikki Limo to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Yeah, that's really it. Thank you for watching. Subscribe so you don't miss any of this and I will see you next time. Bye.